Corrosion appears in different ways, as follows. As general corrosion, as a non-protective friable rust that leads to thickness loss. It affects larger areas and develops relatively slowly in the order of 0.1 to 0.3 millimetres per year. As local corrosion, that's limited to restricted areas and only affects the local strength of the involved element, often revealed as a rapid attack with significant negative impact on the steel thickness. As pitting corrosion, like local spots on plates, which may lead to penetration of the hull. As grooving corrosion, occurring at structural intersections where water flows, in particular in bottom plating, and often adjacent to welds. As weld metal corrosion, like preferential corrosion of the weld deposit. And as microbial corrosion caused by microbes inhabiting the oil cargo. Corrosion may rapidly lead to serious problems for the ship when main structural areas are attacked and must be measured and estimated according to reporting procedures in the ESP scheme. The areas of the ship most exposed to corrosion are the wing ballast tanks due to exposure of seawater, a humid salty atmosphere when empty and high temperature when deck and sides are exposed to sunlight. The combined ballast and cargo tanks are less exposed to corrosion. They are, however, exposed to water washing, which destroys the protective oil film, thus exposing fresh steel to corrosion. Finally, in cargo-only tanks, the bottom area may suffer from acid water settling out from the oil. In the sides and the top of these tanks, the oil itself provides a form of coating.